Minions were this thing from 4th edition. They're these creatures that essentially have all the same stats as something else, but only one hit point. And if they fail their save, or if they pass their save, they don't take any damage. And the idea is that it's just a lot easier for the DM to run mass amounts of monsters and have a, a boss with lots of little things around it. Mm -hmm. A minion. So something that I do is I also have super minions that are creatures that essentially have two hit points, or you have to hit them twice in order to get rid of them. So your first strike, I'll say it bloodies it, and I'll put a little marker on it. And the second time that you hit the creature, it dies. Or something I do in the back of my head, I, don't, I haven't found a way to, I haven't really tried to word this nicely in fifth edition language, but I also have like a, a threshold, right? Like say, okay, this is a super minion, but it has a threshold of uh, 20 hit points, right? So if you do more than 20 hit points in this first hit, it will just die outright. I appreciate that. Um, yeah. I really like this idea because, first of all, I already like minions, and I've used minions a bunch, bunch of times. I never thought to get, call them two hitters, basically, is what it mm -hmm. is. Um, it's mm -hmm. not two hit points. It's two hits and you're done, which means they, they don't just outright die against a single attack like a fireball, but a multi-attack mm -hmm. fighter might be able to take one out. Um, and it really, it really is interesting to me because it, I immediately thought of a way as utilizing these as a way to scale with the players so they feel like they're growing in power. So the first thing that comes to my mind is Dark Souls. The bosses that you start early on, the strong mini-bosses and everything, become just random minions as you go through it. And so you could easily take something like a powerful goblin boss that they fight at like level one or two um, and turn that into a minion or a super minion where they go down mm -hmm. quicker because now the players will feel like they're growing stronger because, hey, I remember when that guy nearly killed us and now I just cut him up in two swings. Um, and it's yeah. more, it's more of that, I think. And also it speeds up combat, but let, and also lets the, the, the fireballing mage get that ex feeling of, mm -hmm. of, of destroying and wrecking half the room, but not actually doing it. Right. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, so something really important. I think is to realize if you're trying to like, even if you're trying to play fifth edition, like strictly by the book, the hit points aren't a fixed number. The hit points are a range. Yes. Right? Yeah, so it's it's easy to say legally, okay, this particular goblin does not have 10 hit points. This particular one has seven, right? Right. The second hit will get him down. Because, uh, I mean, why not, right? You're going to make the player feel cool. It's going to help your combat have the, the more cinematic, exciting feel that you want, right? Like, no one wants to have to take a whole other turn just to wipe off one hit point from the very last little mook, right? Right, right. I have I have kick them in the nuts like if they're gonna if they're pretty much just dead just like I kick them in the nuts sure <laughs> they're, they, they're gonna die because that's one of those things that I think affects the flow of combat too if the damn bastard has three hit points and nobody hits it it is a boring round <laughs> for them oh, at least yeah, yeah. oh I missed I missed I missed this little bastard is just darting around I can't get him can I kick him in the dick sure <laughs> he's dead. Um, cause that's one thing I think happens uh, a little too often is you get in those combat scenarios where you got one guy left, he's got a few hit points and they just can't hit the bastard cause of crappy rolls. Oh man. Yeah. Um, so, uh, Ian, did you have anything on this bad boy? Any thoughts? Yes. Sounds like a blast to me. And, um, ah, fireball blast. I see what you did there. Yeah. Or was that a happy accident? It was a happy accident. Oh, like, like me. Get and I just like dynamic, fast, quick. But epic sounding combat, and this fits the bill. Yeah, so for sure, there you go. Uh, thank you for reminding me. I was like, man, I know I got this from somewhere. Where's the name? <laughs> um, <laughs> all right, I think that'll do it for our dungeon master tip: super minions. <laughs>